Every 26 months or so, Earth and Mars come within 38.6 million miles of each other. This time, they will be in the closet by the end of December. There is one person who is keeping a close eye on it though, Elon Musk. But in reality, his sight is fixed on this Starship's engine, the Raptors. The Starship has one defined role, that of transporting humans to Mars. Whereas the Raptors have two goals, power and reusability. Unfortunately for Musk and SpaceX, Raptors lag far behind both of these objectives. In today's video, Fusion Tech brings you all of the details you need to know as well as the major recent issue that is delaying human exploration of Mars. Stories about space planes and consumer trips to the moons made headlines but never turned into reality. For a time, it appeared that every billionaire on the planet was launching their own space exploration company with the goal of revolutionizing off-planet exploration. There was little reason to believe that Elon Musk would be any different when he entered the space scene. His claims of cutting costs and colonizing Mars piqued our interest, as we had heard them all before. Musk is a controversial figure at times. His remarks have enraged both the general public and government officials. Love him or hate him, he knows how to take control of markets, and in the 20 years since the founding of his company SpaceX, Musk has accomplished what many in the private sector have not been able to. He has kept his original promises. SpaceX has already flown constant supply missions to the International Space Station, refined usable rocket boosters, and has even transferred astronauts to space and safely returned them home. Building on these great achievements, the company has set its sights on bigger goals, such as re-establishing footholds on the moon and ultimately Mars. Elon Musk has staked his company on a massive rocket, but he is unable to answer some critical questions about it. However, he is very confident the Starship will enter orbit soon, but he has failed to mention what the engineers need to do before the flight test or how he would prove the vehicle was spaceworthy enough for NASA astronauts. It would be reusable and capable of transporting 100 tons of cargo into space, and its 69 meter tall super heavy booster, if successfully demonstrated, will be the biggest and strongest rocket ever to fly, with more than double the thrust of the Saturn V rockets that carried Americans to the moon. And it may be among the most efficient, with Musk stating in 2019, that he hoped the rocket's operating cost would be $2 million per flight. Musk's hope for sending humans to Mars inspired the design of the Starship, but the vehicle's realistic destination beyond Earth's orbit is the moon. The only question now is when the rocket will make its first orbital flight. This will necessarily require the use of the super heavy rocket engine, Raptor. You may be wondering if everything is in order. What's holding the Starship back? The answer is a little bit tricky though, Remember how we said the Raptor has two goals? Extreme power that would produce enormous thrust and reusability? Raptors generate enormous power and are the most powerful engine in the world. But with such power and thrust, the engine melts during operation. As a result, the box of reusability remains unchecked. They use a design known as full flow staged combustion, which is highly efficient but creates a dangerously hot environment within the engine itself potentially jeopardizing reusability. As SpaceX refines the rocket, the company also developed a significantly different version of its Raptor engine, the Raptor V2, which almost looks like a new engine when compared to the Raptor V1, and it can produce around 25% more thrust, that is 230 tons versus 185 tons. SpaceX has also modified the engine's operation, particularly during startup and shutdown. Many aspects of testing, propellant conditioning, thermal characteristics, tanking, detanking, and specific test stands are likely to remain unchanged, but the engines affect almost every aspect of a rocket. The Raptor engine is a full flow stage combustion cycle FFSCC engine that runs on supercooled liquid oxygen and super chilled liquid methane, and it will power SpaceX's next generation vehicle, the Starship. The Raptor engine takes advantage of the highly advantageous FFSCC cycle, which maximizes the impulse produced by a given amount of propellant. It is the third FFSCC engine ever developed and the first to leave the test stand. The first stage of Starship, known as Super Heavy, will have 33 Raptor engines, 20 non-gimbling Raptor engines in the outermost ring, 10 gimbling engines in the middle ring, and 3 gimbling central engines in the innermost ring. 
The estimate is expected to fall in the future as SpaceX improves Raptor. Starship's second stage currently houses six engines in total, three vacuum-optimized non-gimbling engines and three sea-level gimbling engines. Elon Musk, CEO and CTO of SpaceX, has stated that once the ship's length is increased, three more vacuum-optimized engines will be added. Raptor is made of SpaceX's proprietary SX500 alloy, copper, aluminum, and steel alloys. There is no evidence that these have changed significantly between Raptor 1 and 2. The engine relies on a small amount of 3D printing. However, due to failure to scale, high cost, and low manufacturing rate, SpaceX is attempting to eliminate as much 3D printing as possible. One of Raptor's most impressive specifications is its gimbling range. The engine can gimbal 15 degrees on the Y and Z axes, which is required for Starship's flip and burn landing. A 15 degree gimbal range is impressive. By comparison, the RS-25 gimbals to 12 and a half degrees, and the SpaceX Merlin engine gimbals to five degrees on the first stage. Even with these improvements, the problems with the Raptor 2 are creating a headache for Musk. The heat and melting issues remained a constant source of concern, but the production issue added to the misery. SpaceX is developing heat shields to absorb the enormous energy. Raptor 2 is simpler, cheaper, and more powerful than the original, according to Elon Musk. He did, however, state that the engine's tendency to melt during operation was still a problem that needed addressed. According to Musk, SpaceX faces bankruptcy if it cannot produce enough reliable Raptor engines by the end of 2022. While the company is investing heavily in Starship and Starlink, the biggest potential bottleneck is Raptor production. While SpaceX is thought to be the world's second most valuable private company, the success of its Raptor engine production is critical to its future, including Musk's plan to populate Mars. The Starship will be powered by up to 39 Raptor engines. During initial flight tests, the Super Heavy stage will have 29 Raptors, increasing to 33 engines on later flights. Six Raptors are required for the upper stage Starship vehicle. You might be wondering how the reusable rocket lands back. Well, simple. Landing gear is obviously required for a reusable rocket. These must be light enough to not significantly increase the amount of fuel required for flights and re-entry, while also being strong enough to support the rocket's weight. SpaceX rockets currently use four landing legs that fold against the rocket's body throughout the flight. These are then folded out by gravity prior to landing. However, Elon Musk explained that SpaceX's largest rocket ever would be caught using the launch tower arm. Because the rocket will no longer require landing legs, its weight will be reduced. Landing in the launch tower also eliminates the need for the rocket to be shuttled for reuse. It will simply need to be refitted and refueled where it is. Aside from engineering and bankruptcy, SpaceX is dealing with regulatory issues as it prepares to launch its Starbase spaceport at Boca Chica, just outside of Brownsville, Texas. The FAA is conducting an environmental review that will allow SpaceX to begin construction on the infrastructure needed for its launch site and obtain licensure for orbital launches. That pretty much concludes this video, guys. Do you believe that SpaceX will be able to resolve the Raptor's reusability issue? And will they be able to enable human travel to Mars by 2030? Let us know in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and remember, make sure to subscribe to this channel with bell notifications on if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some pretty awesome stuff, which you will most certainly enjoy. So hit a like on the video, leave a comment below, and we'll see you in the next one.